welcome back, Cody's Auto Diagnostics. So today I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to look up a GM calibration ID and compare that to the calibration files that GM has for uh, to update your computer to see if there's an update available for your PCM or whatever module you may be working with. So this is something that I think any technician that does any kind of drivability needs to know about or at least needs to be looking things up because there's a lot of cars that are getting fixed by flashing the vehicle, flashing the PCM, the TCM, maybe the electronic brake control module. Um, these cars are getting fixed with software, not hardware, not replacing parts, but replace, replacing the files inside the computers, inside the modules. So there's a lot of vehicles, you know, that will set ghost codes or false codes um, because the criteria is just too tight and this new flash or calibration ID will widen the perimeters. There's, there's a bunch of reasons why a manufacturer would want to um, update the vehicle. Uh, it, it's kind of like your cell phone or your computer, it, how they constantly get updated, you know, weekly, monthly, however it may be. Uh, manufacturers, the, the car manufacturers, aren't gonna be putting them out like your phones or your computers. So don't think that it's every two weeks you need to go look to see if there's a new update for your, for your car. That's not the case. Um, but they will put out these updates um, to fix issues. And this is, a, what I'm gonna show you guys is a free service with GM and all you need is your VIN. You go on to the ACL, uh, AC Delco website and you type in the VIN and you grab the scan tool if you can get your calibration identifications inside your scan tool and compare them. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna walk you guys through today. Uh, not difficult, it's free of charge. Any technician doing drivability, you should be doing this. Uh, customers can be doing this to, to check to see if they have updates for their for their vehicle and then you know schedule make an appointment like hey look I want to bring my car in to get flashed I see that it you know fixes X Y and Z okay so it, it, it's it's just something good to know I guess so let's go let's uh, jump on in it all right so pretty much what I was telling you guys you know how to look up GM calibration files slash flash files say that 10 times fast okay so first thing we are going to want to do is grab a scan tool um, and we are going to want to go in here and if you look down at the bottom i already have the vehicle built it's a 2012 chevy cruise okay so the vehicle is built into the scan data uh, i'm going to back out of this window right now and So let's back out. We are gonna go over to the generic functions. From generic functions, we are going to v, uh, calibration identification. Okay, these are the calibration numbers that are inside. This is for the PCM, okay? So those are the numbers that we are gonna want. I am gonna take a screenshot of this right here and save it for later. Okay, so we will need these later. Um, we are gonna want to compare these numbers to the numbers on the GM website. All right, so next we are gonna want to go to acdelco, tds.com backslash subscriptions. So this is a free, this is a free site. Uh, this is through acdelco. Okay, so this is gonna this is the home page, uh, and if you notice at the top of the screen where it says resources, we are gonna want to click on that, scroll all the way down to the bottom. It's gonna be the TIS calibration information. So from here, you grab your VIN and you type your VIN in. Okay, so from here we are going to want to go down to the engine control module. 
But here are all the modules that you could go in and look up to see if there's a calibration to, to fix something. GM is nice and they do give brief descriptions of what it is fixing. So from here, we're gonna to want to go to programming. Okay, select that, go to next. Now we're gonna to wanna to do normal, not the VCI. VCI is vehicle configuration index. That is not something we need right now. Okay, so here is the files and then there's calibration, calibration IDs for each one of these files. So you go up to the complete history. At the top here, you can see the VIN. And from there, if we want to bring up, okay, so there are the calibrations that are in the vehicle is what just popped up on the screen. And we are gonna compare these numbers with the top number of each one of these packets. Okay, so the first packet is gonna be the main operating system. Okay, so we want to compare this very top number. I'm just gonna go off the last four digits and it is 3113. So 3113, if we come over to the right here and we look at this other list and we are looking for 3113. Okay, calibration ID 01, so it's the first one. Okay, so that means it has the latest and greatest file for the main operating system. Okay, so from there, we are gonna go down to the system, jump down here, and last four digits on this is 9931. So we come over to the list on the right, 9931, calibration ID 08. Okay, so that has the latest and greatest. Okay, on to the next. And it is 9928. So again, compare. Calibration ID 069928. So again, it has the latest and greatest. Okay, and in the speedometer, the number is 9934. So again, come over here to the right, and we are looking for a 9934. Calibration ID 07. So it does, so again, it's got the latest and greatest file. So let's go down to the engine diagnostics and the engine diagnostics is 9925. Okay, so 9925, calibration ID 02, 9925. So again, that part of that file is the most up to date. Okay, so now we're going to the engine operation. 3339. Okay, so we come over to the right here. We are looking for a 3339. And I do not see a 3339. So let's come down to this next number. And that is 9921. Come over here. And it is calibration ID 03. 9921. So that means that there is an update for this vehicle, okay, for that part of the file, and that's under the engine management. And this calibration is new calibration to address AC blowing hot when brake pedal is applied. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool, actually. So it's, it's fun to come in here and see what some of these calibrations are fixing. I know there's a calibration update for the Dodge Darts for a steering wheel vibration. Who, who would have thought it, you know? I mean, there, there's guys throwing tires on these things left and right because they think it's a balance issue. And it, the tires balance out good. And all what it needs is a computer update. 
for the power steering, or power steering control module. So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, GM is nice. It's free of charge. AC Delco TDS dot com. Um, go there. Put in your VIN. Anybody can do this. You know, it, take your car into the dealer. Uh, it doesn't matter. But hey, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Um, the next video I'm going to be putting out is actually updating and flashing this vehicle right here, the Chevy Cruze. So uh, GM does have a couple little changes um, when you're logging in, but uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Also coming up is a giveaway uh, video for my 2,000 subscribers. So again, stay tuned for that, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm signing out. This takes me like six times putting the VIN in. I try to record and I'm dyslexic. <laughs> it's like I forget everything. <laughs>